All right, good morning. Today I'm gonna to talk about why I decided to quit van life. I wanted to go through my reasons of why I quit van life. They're actually pretty simple, maybe different than other people's, but there's only a couple reasons. No, it wasn't because I was tired of doing it or I was scared or I had too many issues with the van or anything like that. I really liked it. I loved doing it. I loved traveling around and having that that freedom. Most people ask me, why did you quit van life? I mean, you didn't have rent. You didn't have a job. You didn't have to be anywhere at any certain time. Why would you want to go back to a house and back to work? Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Uh, good morning. All right. Good morning. All right. Good morning. All right. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Back in 2017, I decided to sell my family SUV and buy this van that I have here today. I wanted to travel in it for the next several years and homeschool my daughter. At that time, she was only 11 years old when we moved in it in 2018. We traveled in it for about three and a half years, and knowing that in the future she was going to want to go to high school. While we were traveling, we kind of looked around and looked at other places that we could go to high school for about the next four years. We wanted a little bit bigger town and a nice school that had good amenities. The area that we were living in in the past was extremely small and didn't have a whole lot of opportunities and classes that she wanted. We just decided it would be kind of fun to have a different change for a few years. So since she was 11 when we started and when we ended, it, she was 14. And we outgrew it. We just outgrew it. We Normally she had slept underneath the bed and I would sleep above. We made a bed underneath there and there's lights and all that kind of stuff underneath there. But by the time it was towards the end, she was too big and we outgrew the van. So now comes the second reason. If you want to, if she wants to go back to high school, then you have to rent something or buy something. And that means getting a job. So I had to find a job again. Also, once I have to get a job, I can't stay in the van. I was here in the desert Southwest and it was way too hot. I even tried to put a window unit air conditioner in here to try to keep it cool until I could find a house but it was extremely hard. So after having a job and trying to live in it, it was too difficult to keep going, too hot, too much work, and you can't always bring your whole house with to your job. So as soon as we were able to close on a house, we parked the van. Since I knew I would only be in this area for the time that she would be in high school, most likely four years or so, then I decided to buy a fixer upper house and I've been fixing it up for the last couple of years and now I'm almost done and ready to sell it and put it on the market. Then now I can actually go back to traveling again just part time. My plans for the rest of the year is as soon as I sell the van I'm going to look for another RV something larger so I can travel part time in the future and hopefully be able to travel by the early of next year. Also, I'm going to be putting my house up for sale. I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm downsizing again, donating things, and I'm going to put that up for sale by the end of the summer and relocate and kind of do something different with my living situation there in Missouri for a little while. Unsure of all of that until it gets a little bit closer to the time, but that is my plans for right now. So those are my two main reasons was just because my daughter wanting to go to high school and we had outgrown the van. I It's up for sale. So after I sell it, I'm going to buy another RV and hopefully travel in it part time. I really loved it and I wouldn't trade the lifestyle at all. It was something I never regretted and I would definitely do it again. And I hope whoever buys this van in the future gets to enjoy all of their travels and gets to enjoy that free lifestyle like I did. All right, thank you for watching and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already.